This Good To Go segment is sponsored by Spectrum Health Medical Group. February is Heart Health Awareness Month, but there is also time set aside for the little ones who are born with heart defects. Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Week is February 7 through 14. It's designed to help raise awareness for those who are living with these lifelong heart defects and the care that's available. The Congenital Heart Center at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital specializes in diagnosing and treating congenital heart conditions regardless of age. And here to talk more about that are Drs. Joseph Vettacano and Marcus Haw. They are co-directors of the Congenital Heart Center at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, and I welcome both of you. Good to have you here. Let's start by telling folks, what is a congenital heart condition and what are the most common symptoms of that? Congenital heart defect is the most common birth defect. So almost one in 100 babies born today are born with a defect in the heart. And when it manifests with symptoms, we call it congenital heart disease. And this is the most important because it has got a significant impact on their life and, their, and it's a lifelong problem because we often can mend them and repair them. If, uh, they continue to need uh, care throughout their life. And that's the most important aspect of this need to be highlighted so that people understand it and we can help them. So what does this lifelong care look like? Well, we always like to say it's minus nine to 99. So moms who are pregnant get that ultrasound scan and sometimes it picks up a heart defect. So many, many of the lesions are actually seen before birth and we can arrange for the appropriate care at the time of delivery and postnatally. And then, so a lot of babies are picked up like that, and some are picked up with a murmur. Um, and then they're either treated with a surgery or a catheter intervention or uh, just with medication sometimes. And then um, basically they go into a follow up program with specialist cardiologists. And it may be a pediatric cardiologist, it may be somebody with a particular subspecialty. And that care continues through childhood across the age of 18 into our specialist adult congenital heart center. Um, and so I like to call it the unnatural history of congenital heart disease, because once you've done an operation, that patch or that scar in the tissue is there for life and it can cause trouble later on. And so that's why we need specialists who are aware of and are able to intervene when things are not quite right in adult life. Mm. I know that Yours is the only program like it here in West Michigan, one of only a few in the entire country that offers this seamless transition of care from, from you know, infancy, uh, negative nine, as you say, uh, all the way up to, to uh, adulthood. So tell me a little bit about some of the innovative stuff that's going on with regard to this lifelong care. What is, what is that we are proud of our program is that we have grown in the last 10 years into one of the internationally and nationally recognized program. So every heart disease or defect that needs attention and treatment, we have the specialist here in West Michigan who can address it. And this is achieved through education, research, and innovation. So we have specific device now designed in our, our own center, which is now internationally accepted for treatment of conditions uh, uh, of heart failure. We improvise things like Dr. Ho has excellent hand in repairing some of the defects which were never repaired in life. So we have advanced visualization software where you can see the defects of the heart in three dimension and we can then print models of heart and then we can go to the extent of experimenting some of the devices in printed models and see whether they, it is suitable for that particular patient and then make devices and uh, so that we can implant in a patient uh, pertaining to a personalized uh, aspect of intervention. So we have the broad concept of intervening every aspect of heart, di heart disease. And we are one of the very few centers in the country with advanced exercise physiology testing in the cath lab so that we can reveal some of the diseases which is not apparent in you know, stable state under anesthesia, but when they are exercising, some of these become more prominent and we can detect that and treat that. So we have the whole spectrum of treatment available at Helen DeVos here in West Michigan. Well, for folks who want to learn more about the Helen DeVos Congenital Heart Center, they may do so on the Spectrum Health website. We have put a link to it on ours at 13onyourside.com. Doctors, thanks to both of you for being here. 
Thank you. Thank you.